there guys, gals, non-binary pals, Jam Potter here. Welcome to my channel where I review books and bookish things. I upload on Thursdays with some alternating things thrown in here and there. And today we are doing an ARC. Thank you so much to NetGalley and Boldwood Books for uh, giving me a copy of the book Breaking the Ice by Amy Andrews in exchange for my honest opinion. All opinions are my own. Who else's would they be? So let's get into it. So, the description as provided by the publisher is NHL hotshot Nick Hawkeye Hawk has four months to recuperate from a potentially career-ending injury. All he has to do is take it easy and keep things low-key. So looking after his grandmother's beloved second-hand romance bookshop and working very closely with the ruthlessly efficient Samantha Evans is just what he needs, right? Wrong. Career-driven Sam has impulsive, impulsively decided to swap her highly successful corporate job for a slower pace in her for a slower pace in her favorite bookshop at the exact same time her biological clock has started to tick. And she absolutely wants none of that. But when your boss is a hot hockey superstar and you can't stop daydreaming of him being your baby daddy, forced proximity takes on a whole new meaning. While temptation, with temptation around every bookshelf, Nick and Sam find themselves skating on thin ice until they put themselves firmly in the friend zone. But the more they try to resist their slow burn, the more they want each other. How long can they stay in the zone until one of them breaks the ice? This book, it, it says, was previously published as Risky Business. It's now going by Breaking the Ice. Uh, its expected publication date is November 7th of 2024. Um, it is 284 pages. And this book, once it got going on the spice, it really got going on the spice. So for a spice level, it's good. It's a casual acquaintances to lovers, not so much a friends to lovers, but a casual acquaintances to lovers. It's surprisingly funny. I wasn't expecting it to be to make me actually laugh out loud. I was reading this while I was stuck in a doctor's appointment for over an hour. I was having something done. Um, and I was reading it on my Kindle and I would just burst out laughing and the other patients around me were like, what is going on with this person? What are they reading? Because I would just cackle from time to time. My natural laugh is a little on the cackly side. And so uh, I would just cackle from time to time. Um, it's a uh, romance on a timeline. It's over a four month period. Um, it's plus size heroine. It's slow burn. It's really, really funny. It's described as sweet and spicy. And this book definitely delivers. Um, it's got a popular trope, although you wouldn't know looking at the cover picture, which makes me a little upset, um, which is plus size heroine and jock love interest. Like she's supposed to be downright Rubenesque and she's not. She's supposed to be really curvy and really voluptuous. And the cover, I know the author has nothing to do with the cover necessarily, especially when they're working with, an, with a publisher, but it just, it just frustrated me that it didn't, the character on the cover didn't look like the character in the book in such an obvious way. Um, the ending is a little on the abrupt side. I wanted at least one more chapter or maybe an epilogue or something else to happen. Like I wanted just a little tad more because it's very much a, uh, well, this is the ending. Okay, bye. And it's, it. I just wanted one more chapter just to stretch it out, just stretch it out, make it feel more more whole, more interesting than that. Um, but it was very enjoyable. This book is getting a solid four stars from me. It's really good. I enjoyed it. I haven't read any sports romance novels before, so I can't really compare it against that genre. Uh, something I did see when I was looking over the reviews is that it, it maybe isn't so much a, a sports romance. Um, that 
one of the more critical reviews of it is one and a half stars. It feels like the author saw popular tropes that were trending and tried to make them fit her writing style. Um, it is a little weird that uh, the character's eggs are talking to her, um, but it's written in a very Bridget Jones Diary-esque kind of way, the, the book, not the movie, and it's very much, uh, of course her eggs are talking to her. She's a little bit batty. She, she's got some bats in the belfry. And it just, I think it, I think it worked because it was just so ridiculous and the character is ridiculous, but in a truly lovable way. I think it was cute. Um, there are some people that's, that found the main character annoying or obnoxious. I didn't feel that way at all. I found her charming. I found him. At no point does he press the, but I'm your boss, I can make you, not even as like a flirty kind of way. Like he doesn't push his authority at any point. She says no and he's like, all right, no. I have to adjust my pants, but no, no is a no. And it, he doesn't try to like convince her or an, and when she says stop at one point, mild spoilers, literally in the middle of the act, he's like, okay, we're, we're stopping. And it's like, the, the amount of consent in this book, I found sexy. Consent is sexy, consent is necessary. And this book gets that point across without banging you over the head about it, which I very much appreciated. Um, like I said, four or five stars, really good. Not a perfect book, not necessarily something I would be reading again. Um, the spice was nice. It was a nice level of spice. Um, I would say on the spice level, again, four out of five, like once it gets spicy, it's really spicy, but until it gets going, it's more of a slow burn. Like, it's kind of like, you know, in an action movie where they have like the gasoline and they, and they like have like the trail of gasoline, they start and it goes, and then it gets to like the car and the car explodes. It was like that, that you had this like steady burn and then an explosion behind you like this cat behind me like four stars really good thank you again to boldwood books and net galley for giving me a copy of this book in exchange for my honest opinion i all opinions are my own who else's would they be um let's give the author some love on 11 7 of 24 and pick up a copy of breaking the ice um, are there any books that you're really excited about? Are there any books that you're not too jazzed about? I'd love to hear your comments. Let me know down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!